one here. Uh, I had a plan originally to do this, these five, but I became a little unsure, especially since I'm not getting many comments. Uh, well, besides the one from, um, Battlecat Friend, where he says, if you're up for the challenge, make Awakened Bohumut Cat. So I'm not sure who that is. I think my editor put it here. Right. What the hell is this? Okay, let's be honest. I played Battle Cats, but I've not gotten this far. This is cool. But the, how the hell am I supposed to do this? Let's be honest, Battle Cat friend. <laughs> how? And I could try, but I'd take apart a lot of cats to do it. Yeah, so that's not gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna do this in our time because I'm a little low on cats. And I am working on something new, though. I'm trying to put battle cats into D&D. &D. I'm gonna do... It's an ex in our experiment in mind where I'm gonna do, like, D battle cat D&D &D sheets. So, yeah. That's kind of why I put all these Lego battle cats flying with D&D &D dice. The real idea behind this video, though, was that I would be showing off a different thing I made. Because if you're like me, where you have a Switch, and you don't have the Toy-Con, where you kind of want to do stuff similar... Oops. Let's move you guys out of the way. Introducing... Introducing the custom Switch VR headset. So I'll quickly grab my Nintendo Switch out of the stand to show you how it works. So it just slides in the top right here, like so. And then you... See? Works like a charm. So yeah, this is an interesting design. I sadly won't be showing you how to build it, because this is... Well, actually, you know what? I'll give, basically give you the basics to build it. It's not going to be a presentation. It's more like a... Not, I don't want to say quick build, but something close. And by the way, just to people who don't know what's going on on my channel, I often try and do a video at least once a week. So roughly in between 7 to 14 days. Once every 7 to 14 days, basically. Yeah. So we're going to do... Or I'm going to show off the headset. So we'll start with the basics. So if you're building a headset like the one I did, you can use any color you want. But what I would recommend is first we're going to start with the base. And I'm going to have to hold my camera because good grief, this is at a funny angle. I want to say maybe did this. Here we go. Very strange angle, but whatever. Alrighty. So, let's pull the switch. For the case... Oops. <laughs> so, you can see this... I have a Nintendo Switch right here without the Joy-Cons. To figure out the case size, it is... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Your best bet would to make it uh, 12 by 4 size with a nose joint. I kind of did the nose joint crappily where I just took a piece of foam and put it in a, like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 by 4 that I half fastly. Actually, no, it's not 5 by 4 because it's 5 by 4 by 6. 5 by 4 by 6. So if I take off this bottom, I can show you what I mean. This is kind of how it's built. So this would be the nose guard. Like, I can put it on, show you kind of what it looks like, if you want. Yeah, so this was another experiment. And this would be kind of useful if you had no Toy-Con VR, but you wanted to play a game that did in VR style. Alrighty, so. The other thing to note with it is, see how I did the top in... As, uh, oops. Now I'm gonna put this on the floor because it's bright. Okay. So, see how I did the top? It had Technic and it has these studs inside. 
And the reason why is because with the headset part that I made over here out of all Bionicle and Technic, which is pretty nuts, you can see I have these hinges right here. They're supposed to connect in here, but you don't want them to jiggle around. Hence why I have these ball studs. Not ball studs. Technic orbs, as I call them. The other thing is you want to make sure that on the third... On the third, you have a Technic piece sticking out so you can attach it. But the reason why I did this out of, not Technic, but studs, this part, is that it's an easy pull off and pull on for when you put it together. I'm going to grab the stand all over the place for this one. I'm sorry about that. Alrighty, so. If I put it together quickly. So the other thing with the Technic is I used a lot of Bionicle pieces, which I found helped. And what you want to do, I find helps, is ear hoops. So as you can see, I have these loops here. Oop, not in the camera back. Or the thing back. So as you can kind of tell, I have these ear loops here. And the reason why I have that, if I carefully put on the helmet. So I'll show you why so this unlatches here. Let's just make sure this is on. I'm not sure if this is on camera anymore. It's on a little funny. Hold on. I'm just quickly fitting this helmet on. As it slowly falls apart. This is a prototype, mind you. I could do better, let's be honest. I could do much better. Oh. I dropped a piece somewhere. There we go, kind of like this. Hold on. Uh. Uh. Like this. Can you see? I'm assuming you can see this. <laughs> I need a cameraman. Yeah, so. I did create it. And one thing is, I could show you guys if you want. Uh, me and my brother, Draco's Minecraft games. Oof. I just pop this helmet off. Oh. So yeah, as you could kind of see, I had the ear loops. Oops. Ear loops. <laughs> so, as I was saying, the nice thing is, oh, we've been working hard on Minecraft on the Switch together, and if you could tell us how we could record our playthrough on the game and send it to my Chromebook, that'd be really helpful, because the closest thing we could think of is you can record 30 seconds if you hold down the the screenshot button here. That's the closest thing you can do. You can't do anything else recording wise. And it'd be crazy trying to time it perfectly. So uh, it would help if you could explain the comments way to do that so we could play Minecraft or Breath of the Wild and show you guys. Because we've done some pretty cool things there. Yeah. But with that out of the way, we'll go back to the build. I'm getting a little hand. So the other thing you want to note with this, if you're trying something similar, is foam in the middle. Because Lego hurts. I'm not kidding. My nose hurts <laughs> from wearing that. And ear loops are helpful. Because otherwise, the weight on your ears kind of hurts. Mind you, I don't know if I already mentioned this. This is a prototype, so it might go wrong for you. It might be crappy. I'm still editing this constantly from time to time. Yeah. So. So what I would recommend is that you f try and build almost like a hairnet at a Technic. So like, not counting these Technic brackets here, Technic lines, but all the Bionicle, you try and make almost like a hairnet for the back of your head with it. And then you connect it to the top, the center, and the sides of the build. The other thing I tried doing is like a helmet strap like on a bike. That didn't help. That just choked me. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So, that's another thing I did. More of an experiment than anything. 
So yeah, there's that, and I guess, there's, since I can't really show how to build it, since there's many ways you can do it, and it's very experimental, it's probably not going to last. I'm just going to present it, and then we're going to get on a build. So yeah, uh, I think we should do a technical character to go with the theme. So we have the cat at. I'm actually going to do it this time. Unlike last time where I thought I said I would and then didn't because I ran out of time. Yeah, the one thing with the cat I kind of screw up with is with the proportions. There's supposed to be three cats in here. I only have one. One that doesn't want to stand up. So I guess I'll show you how to make the pilot and then the mech. So we'll start with the pilot. For the pilot you will need... Well, actually, there's one special piece you'll need. This is a uh, 2 by 2 by 2 grip. Very strange piece, but is kind of useful. You won't, That's the only special piece you'll need for the pilot. Other pieces you'll need is I used four silver studs for the feet, two dark gray studs, two black studs, one by two, that is dark, that is light gray, two light gray cat eyes, dark gray, I'm not even sure what this piece is, one by two, double edge grip, dark gray, uh, then you'll also need a one by two silver, uh, flat, it doesn't have to be silver, it could be dark gray, I just used silver, not sure why, and then you'll also need uh, two by two, white flat with studs, and two cat ears that are white. Alrighty. So what you do is you attach the studs to the bottom of the white two by two. Assuming I'm grabbing silver studs. Because they look a lot, some of them look a lot like the dark gray. Alrighty. Then what you want to do is you're going to want to put the eyes on. Gray studs, like so. Not gray, sorry, black studs. Gray piece on the back. This beside it. Then you're going to want to put these on here. Kind of like uh, uh, goggles. So you want to put the back part on too. That's the idea of when I built it. It's supposed to be like goggles. Probably like goggles. Yeah. So once you put the flat and this on, you're good. Not the actual mech. The only unique piece, as far as I know, because Draco built this for me, uh, is this box here. As far as I know, because this looks kind of complex. Just give me a second. I kind of just realized there's a lot of pieces of this. So I will first show how to build the legs and feet. So the parts and how to build it. So first, you will need two of these. They are. Dark gray, 2x4, slanted, and I guess flat slanted in a strange way. Uh, you will also need two of these Technic 1x2 flats that are dark gray. You need two light gray Technic 1x4s, and another two light gray side Technic te Wow, that was bad. Uh, two, one by twos. You will also need two of these uh, one by four slanted pieces. Or, what these pieces? I would think I would rather call these one by four arrowheads. That's where we put them. And you'll also need these. Um, it's like a Cat ear on a. It's like a. I don't even know how to put these, but you get the idea. Uh, boy, oh boy, do I feel dumb. Alrighty. So, to put these together, what you will need is you will need to do this. This. Yeah. This. Yeah, I screwed up already. First, you want to stack 
like this on both sides, I just realized I screwed up already. So you kind of want to do this. And then you want to put them on here like so. Uh, how do you do it? Ah, shit, just give me a second. I realized I forgot two parts. Ha <laughs> ha, whoops. Like I said, Draco built this. I'm not really sure it works. There's also, uh, you'll need two 1x2 two dark gray flats. And I figure out how it works. So what happens is you want to align the 2x2 two two slanted flats like that. Then you want to put these on, like so. Put these on here. Like so. So kind of like this. Stick them on top like here. And then pop these on. Ta-da! Feet. Alrighty. Now for the feet to be attached, you just literally attach this here. And this here. So kind of like legs. And then you attach these on top. Oops. go. So you have the legs, and now we're going to build the waist. So for the waist, you will need two 1x2 light gray side technic flat. You will need two 2x6 uh, two light gray flats. A light gray 2x3 flat with all these with studs. Uh, dark gray 2x3 flat, 2x4 flat dark gray with studs, 2x2 uh, dark gray flat studs, and 1x2 uh, great, that's light gray. You also need either 4 dark gray cat ears or 2 of these uh, pieces. It depends on how you do it. And then you'll also just need this uh, Phillips Technic. I don't know why I said Phillips. Phillips is a screwdriver. Uh, plus Technic. <laughs> One by two, dark gray. And then this piece, which is a uh, three. I'm not even sure. All I know is it's as long as a two is a one by three, and has a stud on the end, and it's a plus. Technic piece. So that works. <laughs> That's a one way of putting it. Alrighty, so what you want to do is you want to tack on these. Um, so you want to... Actually, you want to put the base together quickly. So base goes on, so you put... Uh, let's move the rest of the pieces out of the way. So you want to put the 2x6 on the 2 Technic. Attach the 2 Technic on. Like. So, if I remember correctly. Wow. Memories are. Okay. So what I want to do. You want to do is you kind of want to lean back a little bit. No, you don't. Talk not to then what you're going to do is you're going to want to, um... Alright, whoops. I realized I made a mistake. Haha. <laughs> Good grief, I had to fill it with a little bit. So what happens is the, uh, the Technic, it's not supposed to go underneath, it's supposed to go on top. My bad. Like I said, this is my brother's build, so I'm not sure it works. Then you put on the dark gray 2x3 with the uh, Technic pieces on. Make sure the other remaining Technic pieces are attached. And then you're going to put another, uh, the last 2x6 on top, like this. So kind of sandwich it. Then you're going to want to put the, on like this, you're going to want to put uh, the, the, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> remaining, Wait a minute. Oh boy. I think I already screwed up.
Okay, build. There we go. You in bed? Yeah, I figured out. So, where I went wrong... Or thought I went wrong, never mind. I was right the first time. <laughs> Ugh, son of a nut. <laughs> this is painful. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is right. So you want it to be like this. So that means you want the 2x3 on the bottom, then the gun, then the 2x4, sorry, 2x6, then the 2x4, then the 2x2, then this, and then you want these on the sides like so. Then you want the gun on, like that. Wait. Yeah, this doesn't feel right. Son of a. Don't worry, I went wrong. Draco's builds are so complex. Okay, so you do put the 2x4 on the bottom. I'm sure about it this time. And then what you do is you take the two Technic pieces, put them on top of the 2x2, two two, put underneath the 2x4 at the front. God. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put these here. Like so. The slanted pieces, like so. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this back piece on here this piece on here. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Oh, I've been feeling too much. Let me just attach the bomb because I know I got that right. This is such a complex build. Oh, I should have called up Draco for help. Alrighty. Right, you do this, and then this. There we go. So what you do is you put the light gray piece, the light gray 2x3, then the dark gray 2x3 on top, and make sure it's covering here, and then this piece, then you put the box on top, and then you put the cat in, oh my god. <laughs> Note to self, don't do this by myself again. <laughs> okay. They put the cat in when I didn't screw up his feet. Alrighty. Yay, that took too long. And thanks to my mistake, I have to force my editor to fiddle with this. Sorry, Leo. Thanks for the help. Point this out to me. How to do it. Uh well, here you go. Cat ass done. <laughs> yeah, so that's all I'm gonna do. The cat ass, I showed the headset off. Good enough. Yep, yeah, if you want more build ideas, if you want to see the bomb on cat and Game Warrior 1 and the dark cat and maybe even my Kirby, weird Kirby build, just let me know. Yeah. And let me know any other recommendations besides the Bahuma Awakened. I have no clue how the heck I'm supposed to do that. Let's be honest. How are you supposed to do this? How? How, how, how? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know if you want have any suggestions or want to see more. And see you later. Bye.